basic matrix operations in main. So uh, we'll tap into main and we'll bring up the keyboard and we'll head down past math two. Uh, well, we'll stop at math two. Here they are. This um, little chap will put in a, uh, a row matrix and every time we tap on the icon, you can see that up here the the entry box is growing. So here we've got a uh, a one row five column matrix. Now at the same time, if I started tapping on the uh, this icon, it's actually increasing the number of rows, and we can tap until we've got um, the size of matrix that we desire by some combination of rows and columns. Okay, we're getting a bit big there. Let's press clear to tidy that up. Same with this fella. This is the square matrix. Every time we tap it, it's just giving us a square matrix that gets bigger as we go. So let's start off with a basic calculation. Suppose we wanted to multiply three of this first matrix. So we'll put a three and the column matrix in with a one upstairs and a two downstairs. So we just click our way through the entry boxes plus four. So plus four of uh, the matrix two over five. So two and five for the bottom element there. And when we tap execute, classpad evaluates it as 11 over 26. Um, if we wanted to do a multiplication, let's say we've got a square matrix here with coefficients two, one, six, four. So two, one, tap into this box, six, tap across and four. And we want to multiply it by this uh, column matrix here. I can just drag it after it and tap execute and there's our result. So um, matrix operations fairly easy there. Now suppose I wanted to find out for this square matrix its determinant. If I pop it onto a new line, tap execute, then I can head off to the action matrix uh, calculation and you can see here we can find its dimensions, its determinant and so on. Let's just go for the determinant and tap execute and it says the determinant is 2 and we could check that. 2 4s are 8, minus 1 6 is 6 leaves us with 2. Um, but obviously for larger matrices that's a pretty useful tool to have there. Also finding the inverse of a matrix. So again let's take a copy of this matrix down to a new line. To find the inverse we just raise it to the power of negative 1 and tap execute. And um, you can see class pads had no trouble in determining that. Occasionally we also want to, uh, with larger matrices, we might want to assign them to a variable. So again, let's take this matrix and we'll use the assignment operator. And we can say let's assign that to maybe the variable A and tap execute. And then if we uh, wanted to calculate 2A as part of a calculation or something, when we tap execute, you can see um, that makes uh, working with matrices quite a bit simpler.